Hello everyone. Welcome to Informatica support videos. I am Rahul Kumar Bhatt from GCS MDM team. Hope you all are doing well. Today we will discuss about hierarchy one step approval. So let's get started. Here is the overview of what we are going to discuss today. We will start with briefing of hierarchy one step approval followed by prerequisite. Then what are hierarchy one step approval process? Steps to configure demonstration part and the reference for the same. So whenever data director uses update or modify hierarchies, one workflow got triggered and the roles like senior manager who reviews those updates and based on that like they do certain actions like they can approve it, reject it or cancel it. Activos creates hierarchy types with specific properties for the same. Hierarchy tasks ensure changes to hierarchies move through an approval workflow. To use hierarchy tasks, you configure the task type, workflow triggers, and a task template. What are the prerequisite for it? So all we need is to just create base objects in MDM Hub, define the business entity structure. Also, if you want to add additional attributes for a relationship, ensure that the required columns are present in the base object that maintains the relationship. What is hierarchy one step approval process here? Business would require the task approval process to be configured to one step rather than using the default process. Let's understand this with an example. So we have two roles here, data steward and one is senior manager. Whenever data stewards do updates on an existing hierarchy. They send it for the approval part. Senior manager roles reviews those changes and based on that, like they do actions like they can approve it, cancel it or reject it. The task type that we are going to use in this process is hierarchy final review and the task action that are available at data steward, sorry, senior manager role is claim, approve, cancel and reject. Coming to the next slide, the steps to configure, we need to configure hierarchy task type, task template and workflow triggers. As you can see here, the hierarchy in the hierarchy task type, you need to enroll the roles like we have created for the demo part senior manager here and you need to provide the parameters like name and label in the task type. The next one is your task template in which like you need to provide the parameters like name, title, priority, due date, comment and status. The third one is the hierarchy workflow triggers in which like you need to modify the events. In this process, you need to make it modify hierarchy and the parameters that needs to be passed is name, template, task type, task type, process, attachment and comments. This template and task type like already we have configured. Now let's move to the demonstration part. Let me log into the provisioning tool in order to show you the configuration. The first thing that we can check here is the template. Here like I have created default hierarchy approval here and the parameter that has passed is name, title, priority, due date, comment and status. Second thing that you need to configure is the task type. Here if you can see like the roles associated with senior manager and the parameters is just name and label here. The third one that you need to configure the triggers and you need to provide the parameters like name, template, triggers, task kind which is hierarchies only, process that we can retrieve from active response. I'll show you just how like we can check it. And we have to also provide attachment and comments. This templates and task type like we have already configured. Now coming to this process, like how we can retrieve it, let me show you. So in order to check the process, like we need to go into the catalog, process definition, hierarchy one step approval. And as you can see, this service, hierarchy one step approval task which we have configured in our provisioning tool here. 
now let me log into my 360 application with a user who is associated with data steward group and i'm going to update an existing hierarchy So if you can see like the changes like I just added this Ryerson mem wasp with my coding Henson cable I'm, and I'm going to accept it. So as soon as possible like I'm going to send it to approval for data steward role like one workflow will be triggered and the same we can check in Activos console. Let's check from the Activos console side. You can see one process just got created for the same. Also, it's right now pending a final review and the potential owner for the same is senior manager. Let me check the interaction ID for it. So the interaction ID generated for this process is 540025. Let me go and check the same in database as well. As you can see, one record just got created with upstream indicator of zero meaning it is in pending state and the interaction ID for the same is 540025 which we just checked right now it's 540025 now let me log in to e360 with senior manager role the senior m is a user which is associated with senior manager role So if you can see like there are multiple tasks but out of that like this is the one that we just updated it right now we need to claim it claiming it and once like we review the changes like we can have options like we can approve this one we can cancel this one we can reject this one and we can release this one for now i'm going to approve it let me check the changes from activos console like what happened I'm going to refresh it. So as you can see earlier it was at pending at final review. Now if you will check like it's pending it notification. Let me check the changes from database again. So if you can see now for the same interaction ID the upset indicator got changed from 0 to 1 meaning like earlier it was in pending state now it's in active state. In order to complete this workflow we need to log into data steward role again and have to make the required workflow complete you can see this is a record we need to claim it This is basically this notification is basically to notify the data steward role that they have approved it like senior managers are approved from their end. Once like we did this like we got notification okay successful and if you will see like the workflow has been completed. So we have reached to the end of our presentation. I hope you all followed along and have a good knowledge now on the hierarchy one step approval for those who all are thinking to implement hierarchy one step approval please refer provisioning tool guide for the same please reach out to us on support videos at informatica.com you can also reach out to us on twitter and let us know your comments on it thanks to all and have a great day